I hate that it's so cliched because I believe you 90% of your kids sitting here are gonna say the same thing. But as soon as you said car culture, my brain went to a spinning gusheshe somewhere. Somebody sitting uh, on the window, Lord knows how he's controlling this thing. Now, I didn't necessarily grow up with that, but I think I enjoyed as a South African seeing that become a big part of our culture. I'm a massive Porsche fan. It's a brand I've sort of known for a long time. I've admired and aspired to get into one for a long time. I'm a family man. So for me, a Porsche was my dream car, but the condition was it had to accommodate my kids and I. This is when I started drawing my attention towards a Cayenne. It had to be a GTS, just so that it has a little cred still, you know, has a little bit of a buzz, a little bit of engine. If it was gonna be a Porsche, it had to be red. That's the image I put into my mind. Would you believe that I had a Cayenne and a, a Porsche Boxster next to each other? as my screensaver for a while, because that's the image I was aspiring to. So even when I got the Cayenne, I made it my mission to get a box to soon after, because it had to be a pigeon pair. Oh. For a long time, I only looked up to my dad, was my main reference point. Uh, and my, my dad was a BMW, Mercedes kind of guy. So, so growing up, that's what I used to measure as success, you know, and I thought to myself, as soon as I can, and I'm positioned to, this is exactly the direction I'm gonna go. But of course, I, I started shaping my own identity as I got more exposed and grew a little bit older. As far as my own cars, no, they were furthest from luxury. Um, so my first car was a Toyota Taz, uh, which I bought together with my mom because I did raise my own little dough and I said to her, look, this is what I want to do. She met me halfway and we got my Toyota Taz and then I got a Runex. Uh, and then we believed, and I still believe today, that those were uh, reliable cars. I've never, or at least up until that point, I had never seen anyone stuck or broken down in a Toyota. I still don't know if I have, as a matter of fact. So, you know, we're going for practical, for safe. And then I think as you get, you know, older, and perhaps you're better positioned, then you start exploring, uh, you know, what you actually want to drive. I think for a large extent, you know, many can argue that uh, hip hop and the hip hop culture, even though there's uh, definite African roots, you know, it's, it's very much an inherited kind of culture. And we know inherently that uh, it's, it also comes with the entire lifestyle. So fortunately, for a big chunk of my music career, I was sponsored at the time. Uh, because I remember I even have a particular music video where we took, you know, what was the top of the ranges at the time, put them in the music video. So yeah, I was very much an active part of the culture. As youngsters, because we're very influenced, it's the reason we speak the way we do. Some of us, we have a little twang, dress the way we do. I remember wearing my school uniform right down here. And where did I find that? I saw that on music videos and the like. So, you know, as, as a youngster, when you're very impressionable, I think, you try and replicate. I think the older I got, I got less and less influenced. Then it became less and less about the outside world and what it looks like and what it appears and what is thought of me. And it became more a personal thing. So for me, it's what I like. It's what works for me. It's not so much what anybody thinks. I think we are an aspirational society. You know, we're always looking to bet ourselves, looking, you know, for opportunities. And for me, cars are but one of the many symbols which symbolize, you know, progress and moving forward. Remember, we are previously a disadvantaged people, largely speaking. So, you know, for me, any opportunity where we can sort of better ourselves, we certainly try to. And for me, cars is one of the many symbols 
which symbolize a progress of a people. I was a brand ambassador for a brand some years ago, and I remember they won Car of the Year, um, and I went to go pick up the award. So when you say cars.coza, that's the immediate memory my mind comes to. So it's all the brands coming together, competing, uh, innovation, you know, being cutting edge, breaking into technology. There was a time I was between cars. Uh, in fact, it was between the time my sponsorship had just come to an end and I was now in the market. I definitely explored the site a little bit. I went to see what was within my budget, within my means. Uh, so I've definitely had exposure to uh, to cars that's here today. This is where you can get cars. This is where you check out for bargains and so on. I, I think it, it, it has a nice balancing effect and a nice place in South African's hearts, to be honest. <laughs> My dad used to drive a GTI back in the very good old days, so my mom has like so many stories about that. That was a love of her life. I've got an accident in the road, I can't go, proceed. Wait, go. Ah. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like this sort of is not okay, what no, happens no, no, no. Okay, okay, in I'm, Formula okay, One. Okay, a little bit foul, that was foul play, I'm sorry. Three things you should not do in a car. Ooh, the first one I was gonna say, ah! <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna say it, but y'all see my face. <laughs> don't do it in the car, it's public indecency. If the year ends and I don't have a uh, Gusheshe spinning to Izin Jazam by TKZ family, I'm not gonna say I've disappointed myself because in due time, but it's something I really, really want to do. Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza.